Welcome. Sciatica, low back pain. The sciatic nerve is the size of my thumb, the longest nerve of the body, stemming from the lower back, making its way under the buttocks, the back of the thigh, outside of the thigh, and below the knee to the entire lower leg, foot, and toes. Burning, tingling, numbness, cramping, heaviness. You don't have to have low back pain to have burning or pain or discomfort or weakness into your lower extremities. I want to show you my four favorite stretches, four favorite stretches to help combat sciatica. Realize that most sciatica does not come just from the disc. Even though you may have a herniated disc, a bulging disc, or disc degeneration, from improper positioning and posture, quite common, where the nerve makes its way out of the lower back, going into the buttocks, around the piriformis muscle, when that area becomes contracted and shortened, it can inflame that lower buttocks area affecting that sciatic nerve root. So I'm gonna show you four safe, great stretches you should be doing for lower back sciatic type pain that hopefully will take you out of this major distress. The first one is the piriformis stretch. I've showed this many times in many of my videos but it is so important that you don't want to miss this stretch. Very simple, if we're going to stretch our left side, our left buttocks, we're going to lean back, we're going to bend this knee, our left knee, and put it behind our right knee, just like this. And we're going to grab underneath the leg and we're going to pull straight back. I'm going to come a little different angle, okay? Left knee is bent, grab underneath the right thigh and pull straight back. Okay, I'm gonna come a different angle here. Okay, left knee is bent behind the right knee, the, right, the ankle, the left, left ankle is behind the right uh, knee. And we're gonna pull straight back. Hold it about 25, 30 seconds, and you can do both sides. The second stretch for working the left side, we're gonna take our left foot and put it on the other side of our right knee, just like this. Now we're just gonna grab with both hands the outside of the left knee, and we're just gonna pull it all the way over. And you're gonna hold it there a good 30 seconds. Beautiful, just hold that, pull it all the way over. That's the right side, take the right foot over the left knee, both hands, and just pull it over. Try to sit up as straight as you can, and you'll feel the whole outside of the buttocks just release. The third exercise is just taking the side involved. This is my left side. I'm gonna work my left buttocks, okay? We're gonna bend that knee in front of us, just like this, as I show you here. Keep that back leg straight as possible, keeping your knee obviously behind you. Just keeping that back straight, and all we're gonna do is just lean our body forward. And if you can't go all the way down, just go down to the point to where you really feel that left buttocks burn. Right side now, got the right knee bent. Left leg straight behind us, arms resting on the, on the floor, and just leaning forward. Lean as far, far as you can. If you can go down, all the way down, great. Hold it there a good 30 seconds, and relax. The last exercise is taking a ball that you have, a tennis ball, a golf ball, a softball, anything that's hard and firm, lacrosse ball, something that we can put pressure and need that muscle. And the way we're gonna do this is a modification of the piriformis stretch, but a little different. And what we're gonna do is we're going to work the left side, okay? We're gonna bend that left, left knee behind uh, this uh, right knee. We're just like this, we'll put that left uh, ankle behind the right knee. We're not gonna really pull up much like we did before, but we're gonna leave it like this. And we're going to put the ball in that area that's giving us problem, that lower buttocks area to release that muscle. And once it's in there, we're gonna pull up a little bit, but we're just kinda kinda roll in little circles. Good. So we're just gonna roll over that point, and you can reposition it in a different area, and roll over that point. And the reason why we're bending this knee a little bit is that we wanna take tension off the external rotators, okay? So as we do it, we're kinda taking tension off that muscle in the buttocks as we're rolling that ball in little circles. You can do that, uh, be, be a little creative, 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, just get to that area until you release that tight trigger point. So these are four great stretch exercises you can do to help combat that sciatic lower back discomfort. 
When those muscles contract, they're squeezing on those nerves. We want to get them to relax so we can give you lots of relief. I ask you to share this video, subscribe, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.